So drafting invitation. We have got two kinds of invitation in our syllabus: formal invitation and informal invitation. Okay, formal and informal. Then afterwards, we have got the replies. We have got to reply the invitation also. That also formal reply and informal reply. So these are the kinds of invitations we need to know, like how to draft a formal reply, formal invitation, or an informal invitation, formal reply, or an informal reply. So first, if we talk about uh, formal invitation and informal, what's the difference between these two? The first and first and foremost difference is that formal Im invitation uh, is meant for the public. Okay, when you are to draft an invitation for a group of people, for maybe 15 people, 20 or 50, okay, or maybe 10 also. So when you are sending invitation to a group of people at one time, then we prefer sending a formal invitation. But when we are sending an invitation to one person or one family uh, to some occasion or to some event, then we prefer to go for an informal invitation. I'm repeating, when we are inviting a group of people to an event, we go for formal invitation. But when we are sending an invitation to a family, or maybe two families or two people or two friends, then we prefer to go for an informal invitation. Formal for a group, informal for a few people, right? And then formal invitation happens to be in the format of a card and informal invitation can be in the form of a letter. Formal invitation in the form of a card and informal invitation in the form of a letter. When we get the wedding invitations in the form of cards, they are the examples of formal invitations. When we get a letter from somebody inviting us to some event that happens to be an informal invitation. One thing more children doesn't mean that uh, uh, informal invitation are just, it's just the way you invite, okay? There can be a huge wedding for which you might have sent for, uh, formal invitations to people, but you may also send informal invitation to somebody specially also. Is that clear? So today first let us discuss one, one formal invitation and at the same time we will discuss the same formal invitation in an in informal way also, right? Reply we'll do tomorrow. Today let us just focus upon formal invitation. Formal. So let me first give you a question like uh, you are going to host a party on the eve of your house warming ceremony. You are Anuj from 55, Lajpat Nagar, Jalantar. Draft an invitation. So you've been given this question that you're going to host a party on the eve of your housewarming ceremony. So you've got a new house built, you've purchased a new house and you're going to conduct, you're going to organize a housewarming ceremony for this. So draft an invitation card for this, draft an invitation for this event. So the event is housewarming ceremony, right? And on the eve of housewarming ceremony, 
uh, there will be uh, some ceremony is going to be a party in itself. So you have to draft the invitation for this housewarming ceremony. Got it? So your name is already given that you are Anuj from 55 Lajpat Nagar Jalandhar. So now when we have to, when we have been asked to draft an invitation without telling us exactly whether it should be formal or informal, then we can decide like what kind of invitation it is going to be. So remember, we have been asked to draft an invitation for some occasion. So the most uh, important thing is that for this occasion, we would be inviting uh, a group of people, okay, maybe of relatives or friends, and that invitation will go to all of them uh, in the same way. So what, for, what form of invitation will it be? Yes, it will be a formal invitation. So now let us see how to draft this invitation. So first of all, when we draft a, a formal invitation, if we talk about the layout or the format, then first of all, there has to be an outline. Okay, first we'll draft the outline of the invitation. So then after the word, after outlining the page, we can write the word invitation itself. Okay, write the word invitation. It can be written in a very, uh, in a very cre creative manner or in a stylish manner. So you can use a different kind of cursive hand or a different font so that the word invitation looks catchy, okay? It should be written at attractively on the very top. The word invitation is followed by the name of the host. Who is hosting the event? That will be mentioned. Name of the host, name of the guest can be there. It can be optional also. Okay, host, guest, then event. What will be the event? Event date, time, and then venue. Okay, date, time, venue, and even the um, theme you can mention. If there is some theme, it can be optional. So event, what event? It's date, time, venue, and theme. And finally, uh, what will you write? Uh, if the, uh, as per the invitation, you know, if there is some other information which is to be given, for example, if you need to give the name of the chief guest, then you can mention that. If there is requirement, okay? If no, then you can uh, leave that. So chief guest, his name. Uh, and then finally, to the left side, you will write RSVP. It simply means please respond and RSVP will be followed by a phone number, some uh, mail ID, okay? So phone number and email ID is must when you write for the, go for the RSVP in the end. Okay, so here you people were asked to uh, invite the people, invite some, uh, invite on the eve of housewarming ceremony. And you were supposed to be the Anuj of some Lajpat Nagar Jalandhar. So invitation will start. We have written the word invitation. Now the host will be, you are Anuj. So Anuj itself would be okay. Or if it is possible, you can mention the full uh, surname also can be there with you. So Mr. Anuj. Seeks your benign presence. So this is the name of the host. So host we have written. Okay, I told you like first of all, write the word invitation that is done. Then I told you to write the name of the host. So host is inviting now. Mr. Anuj seeks your benign presence. Now what will be the so guest, we have covered here the word your or here we can specially write the name of the person whom we want to invite. Okay. So Mr. Arnold seeks your benign presence on the occasion of, yes, what's the occasion now? Event. House. 
warming ceremony okay so we have written the event what event is there house warming ceremony now date on on which date will it be there on feb 15 where at 75 lajpat nagar jalandhar this was the address which was given okay i am not writing any address from my side at 75 lajpat nagar jalandhar now what is left time so when you we have written at 10 am got it so we have written the event date value time now what is left if there is some theme you can mention but here we don't need to mention a theme okay house warming ceremony will be there and yes we can mention the program like havan or uh, part anything and you can mention over here lunch okay havan and part at uh, 10 am lunch at uh, uh, a 1 pm right something like this you can mention program you can mention here if if you need to but otherwise we have simply written that house warming ceremony will be at 10 am so this concludes everything it may be the havan it may be part anything okay but if you want to write separately you are most welcome and finally chief guest we don't need to write over here okay it's our house warming ceremony and uh, chief guest comes at the formal occasions though it is a formal occasion but even then it would not be required and finally to this side we would write r s v p so what will you write here some phone number you can write and some name also you can write the name of the one who will be uh, you know collecting the responses the one who will be uh, uh, you know acknowledging like who is coming and who is not coming the one who will be making all arrangements okay so any person in your family who who will be accountable for collecting responses that person's name you can give uh, right along with one phone number you can give two phone numbers also and one mail id also so that with that you know your formal invitation to this event would be concluded draw the line complete it is that clear so i'm repeating like what should be the hallmark of a formal invitation pause number 1 outline then the word invitation pause event date time venue it can be followed by if as per the requirement list of programs chief guest right and finally rsvp please reply is that clear would that be enough now let us do one more example of this kind <clears throat> format will remain same right now we discuss the format it will remain same now let's draft an invitation for the annual day of abc public school okay now you've been asked to draft an invitation for the abc public for the annual day of abc public school i'm giving you the question is like draft an invitation for the annual day of abc public school come on write the question first draft an invitation for the a for the annual day of abc public school so the first question which should come to your mind is like will it be in the in formal context or informal yes what it should be what it should be yes it should be formal because you have been simply asked to draft an invitation for the annual day of some school 
So it, we don't know whether we have to send it to one person or hundred people, but we have to draft invitation so it is formal. Event is also formal, and the invitation will also be formal. So for this, what shall we do? First of all, we will outline the page. So when we have outlined the page, on the very top we would write the word invitation. So when we have written the word invitation. we would start writing the name of the host who is the host when the school is the host then we would say the management principal staff and students so these are all host of name of the school will come now abc public school jalandhar so this is complete host is that clear so the management principal staff and students of abc public school what Seek your benign presence, benign or gracious presence. Anything you can write. Seek your gracious presence on the eve of. Now, what's the event? The annual day. so this is the event okay first of all the name of the host now the event has come so we seek so these people seek your gracious presence on the eve of the annual day event we have written now the annual day is the event now the point is date time venue theme so these details we have to mention okay annual day when will it be date time venue and theme okay so date time venue theme theme can be theme is like what on which theme the annual function is going to be conducted so theme can be children the future of our country children are the future we the people anything okay anything you can be the theme of the annual function you can write it down then after this when we have written that event and its details then we will come to the chief guest who will be the chief guest of this event that we will mention so our so my this side is over but you have to cover up your whole invitation on one page okay so after this so my invitation is continuing what will you write mr x y z the education minister of punjab will be or has content has kindly consented to be the chief guest of the day has kindly consented to be the chief guest of the day so this we have written the chief guest so here one what is very important name and designation very important okay when you write the when you talk about chief guest then you have to name give his proper name plus his designation so name and designation of chief guest very important so after the chief guest 
So already we have given the details of the event, date, time and value, and even theme is given. Now chief guest's name also we have given. Now we can uh, give the list of programs. Okay, program. So we need not write a big list of program, only uh, 4 p.m. Green welcome to chief, chief guest. Green welcome to chief guest. At 4.10, school prayer. At 4.15, cultural pesta. Okay. 5.30, national anthem. So this list of program also we have mentioned, but mind it, this is all optional. If you think you people don't have much space on a page, you can delete it. Okay, this list of program is again optional. You can cover up these four lines in just two lines in your way. After the list of the programs you've mentioned, then in the end, what would you mention? RSVP. RSVP. And here also one phone number and the school ID, school email ID. Is that clear? With this, the invitation for the school annual function will be over. Now I'm giving you some questions. You'll be writing the invitation. You'll be drafting invitations for those questions. The homework is, so formal invitations only I'm giving you now. Draft an invitation for the, draft an invitation for the inaugural ceremony of your new store. You can talk about any kind of store, maybe garment store, or maybe a grocery store. So draft an invitation for the inaugural ceremony of your new store. Second question is draft an invitation for the inaugural ceremony of your new gym. You are going to open up a new gym. Okay, boys will write for a boutique and girls will go for a gym. So draft an invitation for the inaugural ceremony of a boutique or a gym. So two questions I've given you, all of you, please do these two questions and tomorrow these questions will be discussed. Done children? Okay, tomorrow I'll see you with these questions and uh, tomorrow is your test also and test will be of the chapter events, prize and O level invitations also. Okay, one chapter and one topic of writing skills.